What's up everyone, Technic here. So instead of making two different tutorials, I decided to combine the two tutorials together because they kind of go hand in hand. So this video is going to be how to install and use Adrenaline and PKGJ. Now before I begin this video, I would like to point out that this video is for education purposes only. This is for documentation for PS Vita hacking history. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. If you watched my previous video on how to hack a PS Vita in 2023, your PS Vita is already ready to go to install both of these apps. If not, I will be leaking my previous video in the description of this video, just in case your PS Vita isn't running custom firmware yet. So if it's not running custom firmware or anything, please check out that video and then come right back to this video. Um, if your PS Vita is on some type of custom firmware, especially 3.65, I will be also linking the app to uh, Vita Deploy inside of the description of this video as well, just to make things easier on you. So if your PS Vita is on custom firmware and ready to go, we're going to go ahead and proceed. So to start things off, we're going to go ahead and go into the Vita Deploy application and in 2023, just like putting put custom firmware on your PS Vita, putting both of these apps on your PS Vita is also just as easy. It's just going into the Vita Deploy app and downloading them. So go ahead and go into the start portion of the Vita Deploy. Go ahead and scroll down into your app downloader and then press the X button. Go ahead and scroll down until you see two applications called Adrenaline and PKGJ. Press the X button on both of those to check mark them to confirm that you want to download them. And then go ahead and scroll all the way up until you see download the select selected apps and press X to download the selected apps. It's going to take a short while to uh, download both of the applications, but once it's done, you're going to see a prompt pop up that says it's okay to exit this application. And you should see it right about now. So all apps have been successfully installed. You can now exit this application. So you can go ahead and press your home button and go ahead and go back into the home menu. After you close that out and scroll back into your home menu, you're gonna scroll down one page and you should see both the new applications installed on your PS Vita now. Now, we're going to be going into the Adrenaline app first because we need to set that one up first. So let's go ahead and move on to the Adrenaline installation. Now we're going to install the Adrenaline app. Go ahead and go into the Adrenaline app and then press the start button. This installation is fairly easy, but once you go into it the first time, a prompt is going to pop up and it says the 6.61 firmware has not been installed yet and the 661 PPP does not exist. Press the X button to download the PSP 6.61 firmware. Please do me a favor and press the X button to download the PSP 6.61 firmware. If you do not press the X button and press any other button, um, it's it's going to be a lot harder to get the 6.61 firmware. So please do me a favor and press the X button to download the firmware. And it's going to take a short one to download, but not too long. Just wait for it to be done. As soon as the 6.61 firmware is done downloading, the app is going to force close itself. This is normal, please don't worry about that. So now what you're going to want to do is go right back into the Adrenaline app and something else is going to pop up. So go ahead and go into it and press the start button and you're going to immediately see a prompt after the Adrenaline logo. So press X to install the PSP 6.61 firmware on your memory card. Go ahead and press the X button and your PS Vita is going to go into straight up hacker mode and you're going to see a whole bunch of coding prompts that pop up on your screen. Again, this is normal. Please don't be alarmed. It's just setting up the entire firmware of a PSP. As 
soon as everything is done, you're going to see a prompt pop up that says the firmware has been installed successfully. Press X to boot the PSP XMB. And then you're going to press the X button. The screen is going to turn completely black for a little second. And then all of a sudden you're going to see something familiar for those of you that have owned a PlayStation Portable. And congratulations, your adrenaline is almost fully set up. For right now, you have to click through the regular prompts of setting up a PlayStation Portable. So you're going to set the time and date, you're going to set your language, you're going to set a nickname for your PSP um, if you want to anyway. Of course, I have to throw my uh, YouTube channel name on there. I'm going to go ahead and name my Adrenaline uh, slash PSP Technic. And after you're done setting all that up, you are essentially good to go to use Adrenaline like a regular PSP. So go ahead and scroll all the way to the right and then press the X button to go back to the XMB menu. And congratulations, your Adrenaline is fully set up now. Now, I would like to point out that yes, this is a full PSP emulator. So if you have a regular PSP or you know a buddy with a regular PSP, you can go ahead and go into ad hoc mode and you can also uh, go into infrastructure mode in some cases and you can play uh, with your friends that have a PSP. I've already confirmed this, I've already done it before. It, uh, it's a fully working PSP at this point in time. So if you were to scroll over to the game section and scroll down to the memory stick, just like a PSP on custom firmware, that is where your games will go. So if you were to happen to have uh, PSP ISO files or ISO game files um, I'm going to show you where you can actually put those at and as you can see if you were to close out of adrenaline and go right back into it it's going to boot up as normal so this is how you know that your adrenaline is fully set up if it does not do this please refer back to the beginning of this entire adrenaline section and you might have uh, skipped a step, but honestly, it should set up just right. If you, if you just press the X button to download the PSP firmware and then go back into it, it should set up just fine. Uh, but right now, I'm going to go into Vita Shell and show you exactly where uh, the Adrenaline folder in your PSP uh, folder, like the regular PSP custom firmware folders is going to be at. So if you were to go into your UX0 and scroll all the way down, you're going to see something that says PSP MU. That stands for PSP Emulator, and this is where your uh, PSP custom firmware folder is going to be. So if you go ahead and go into the folder, you're going to see something that says PSP in it. So this is actually what pops up when you have a custom firmware PSP, but you're going to see like a game folder in there and there's supposed to be an ISO folder in there. There's supposed to be an SE plugins folder in there. So if you happen to have a PSP running custom firmware, you can quite literally copy the rest of the folders inside of this folder right here. And it'll work exactly like your PSP on running custom firmware with all your save data and everything. So congratulations. The adrenaline setup is done. And now we're going to go ahead and move over to P8KGJ. Okay, so as far as PKGJ goes, if you don't know what PKGJ is, it is an app that downloads items onto your PS Vita. I'm going to leave it at that. So, now that you know what it <laughs> does, we're going to go ahead and go into the PKGJ app for the first time. When you initially go into the app, it's going to show literally nothing inside of the app. And it says, no items, try to refresh. So, go ahead and do me a favor and press the triangle button to bring up the side menu for PKGJ. Now, if you see on the menu, you're going to see something that says refresh. Go ahead and scroll down to refresh and give it just a few seconds and it's going to refresh all of the items on your PS Vita. And congratulations, all of the items will pop up for your PS Vita. 
Now if you press the triangle button again, it actually categorizes all of the items for your PS Vita. So it'll show items, show more items, show some more items, show a few more items, show the PSX items, show the PSP items, show the PSP other items, and then show the PS Mini items. So if you were to click on any of these items tabs, it'll show all of the items for the corresponding section. So let's go ahead and go into the show other items. Now, if you were to install one of these items, all you would have to do is press the X button. Now, this is for educational purposes only, so I will not actually show myself pressing the X button. This is just to demonstrate how things were done for this app. Now, as far as PS Vita items go, if you were to press X to install one of them, you are actually able to back out into the home screen and see the download progress just like any other PS Vita item that you download. However, it's a little bit different when it comes to the PSP items. When it comes to the PSP items, you are not able to freely press the home button and go back into the home button as your item downloads. When it comes to PSP items, you have to stay in the PKGJ app and let the item download. I repeat, if you are downloading a PSP item, you have to stay in the app and let the item download. Any PSP item that you download from PKGJ will automatically go into the Adrenaline app. So go ahead and go into Adrenaline, and like I said, when you scroll all the way to the right to the game section, and then scroll down to the memory stick section, your item will be there. Now on the more technical side of things, I'm going to actually show you where your items will actually pop up in your Vita show. Just so you know this for future references in case anything happens to one of the items to where you have to kind of hard delete anything or if you want to add a DLC or anything into your items. So as always, it's going to all populate inside of your UX0 folder. And as far as your PSP go, you're going to go into your PSP MU or PSP emulator folder. This is where your items will populate. And if you download an item for the first time, it's actually going to populate inside of a whole new folder called your ISO folder. Now PSP ISO and PSP CSO files or can go in here. If you don't know what a PSP CSO file is, it's just a compressed version of your ISO file. So it makes the file size smaller. However, the only stipulation is sometimes will not work correctly. So just be careful when it comes to CSO. Uh, but most of the time I will say that it does work. And your PSP items, or sorry, your PS Vita items will show up in your application folder. This is why you can see your PKGJ right here, your PSP Emu, which is Adrenaline, your SKGD deploy, which is your Vita deploy. All of your PS Vita apps on your home menu will pop up right here. The ones that are not installed already anyway, these are the ones that are downloaded into your home menu. They're gonna pop up on this folder. So as of now, both of the applications are fully installed on your PS Vita and feel free to have fun with either one of them. And this is Tech Nick. I apologize for not making this video sooner. I just had a lot of uh, family stuff to take care of. But thank y'all for being patient. And as always, happy hacking. This is Tech Nick, and I will see y'all in the next video.